Hi, welcome back to our channel again. In this video, we will see how we can easily import data from web to Excel. This is very simple and easy and we will use AO Finance uh, to get the data. And here we have one example stock like Microsoft Corporation. Okay, and here there is a table, it is called historical data. Okay, historical price. So here you will see date, open, high, low and some other things. So our target is to import all of this data from this web page to our Excel. Okay, and this is the URL to access this page. So we will use this URL to access this page and then finally we will use Excel to import all of this data to Excel sheet. Okay, so let's get started. Before going to the main tutorial, I will request you if you are new to our channel or still if you didn't subscribe, please subscribe our channel. Okay, let's get started now. So at first we have to open Excel. So I'm going to uh, minimize this thing and then I'm clicking here and then I'm typing Excel. So here is the Excel. I have to open this, just click it and then Excel will be opened. So from here we have to use on uh, blank or book. So I am choosing this blank or book. So once I click there, then it will open like this way. Now we need to import data. In Excel, there is a tab, it's called data tab. So you just need to click data tab and then this will show you a couple of things. This data tab is basically is used for data related functionality. Okay, I will not go much deep in this tutorial. Here I will show you one functionality, how we can use this. At first we must have to select this data tab and then there is one uh, icon or link it is called from web that means this button or this link whatever you tell uh, this thing is used to import data from web and this using this option we can import data from yahoo finance so let's go to that so here is the yahoo finance page right so this is the url for historical price so what i am going to do i am going to copy uh, this thing right click and then copy okay and then minimize it we don't need it anymore okay now come to this excel sheet or excel or book and data then we have to click from web so i'm going to click here and then it will open a new window so see here it is loading dotnet framework this type of message it will be appeared okay that means something is coming okay so now uh, very soon we'll find this type of window where there is two options one is basic and this advanced so I will not go advanced, uh, we are learning, for example, we are re regular user, okay. So I am choosing basic and then go here in this drop, uh, in this uh, text box and then here it is mentioning URL. The URL means that URL which you copied from this AO Finance, this URL, okay. If you still didn't copy, just right click and copy or you can use some shortcut at, like Ctrl C or Command C, something like that and minimize it and come here, right click and paste it so here is the url for that page and then we have two buttons one is ok and cancel cancel means it will not do anything and ok means it will try to do something so our intention is to get the data from uh, that web to excel okay that means we are going to import data from web to excel so we have to click on ok button so i am going to hit ok button once I hit OK button, then it will process something, you will see something and here you will see something and very soon uh, this type of window will be appeared where you will see uh, something is running in the back end or something like that and very soon you will find this type of thing. At the beginning is the main URL which you copied and if you click there are two views, one is table view and there is web view. If you click web view then you will see that the page which we actually uh, try to copy the URL that is the thing okay now let's jump to table view and then here you are seeing there are many things on his document and it is going to give us this type of information but we don't need this thing then go to table zero we also don't need this thing this is actually the current uh, price or something like that table on we also don't need table two then here you go here is the historic price right so if you again open we are seeing that this is the historic price right this is the historic price lot right so this price we need and we are seeing these are here right so this table is important for us and then there is another one uh, table 3 this is also not important for us our target is table 2 okay so we have to 
use this thing. So once you choose, uh, once you select the record table, then we, we are ready to do something. Okay, now come to this page right side. Here there are a couple of things like load, transform data, cancel. Okay, if you trans uh, click transform data, then what you will do, you can also modify something and then you can import. But we are not going to do right now. At first we'll load and then later we'll modify. And for that purpose, we have to use load button. But there is a drop down here. Uh, there is a small drop down. Just click there and you will see two options. One is load and is load two. Load is actually, it will directly load the data. But this is for like novice user who just started using Excel. But we are not novice user. We feel uh, we know much more thing than novice user. Okay, so we we'll use this one, load two. So just click load two. And then very soon it will appear like this type of window okay or option so here you will see couple of options so we want our data set as table so we are choosing data table okay and here uh, there is two option where do you want to put the data existing worksheet or new worksheet if you click new worksheet what will do it will ignore this worksheet it will go to a new worksheet but uh, we only have only one worksheet so there is no point to create a new worksheet and to load data in that different sheet. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll choose existing worksheet. But if you wish to choose some other worksheet, you can also do. Now, uh, there is another text box like thing right here. So here it is showing from where. So this is A, right? And this is one. So A column and row number one. That's why it is mentioning A1. But if you want to load data like D10, or like B column, suppose like 15, you have to type B 15. Okay, but we're not interested to do this thing. Uh, this point is fine for us. So just choose it. Okay, A1, and then what we have to do? We have to click OK button. So just click OK button and wait for few seconds to one minute maximum. It depends on your internet speed. Okay, and you will see here something's processing like this and your data is on this side and it is uh, like some colorful like green color or something like that okay we are not going to customize the color we'll come later okay now let's do one thing so here uh, we are we have date column then open open price then high price low price close adjacent close volume lots of data okay so but our target is only to keep only for example open we don't need open price we want to target high and low price Okay, we want to check what is the high and what is the low price and other things we don't need. Okay, so we want to delete, we have to delete those things. Okay, so we'll do this thing, but before going to there, uh, just check right side. Okay, here you will see table two and 100 rows loaded. Okay, but table two, this is not meaningful, right? This table two, it doesn't mean anything, what we load, right? But we are loading some data, right? What is the data? This is actually Microsoft corporations a stock data right so we can actually rename that table okay and if we move our cursor on top of it then it will show you the preview here right here some preview is coming right so this is the preview so what we'll do we need to rename this thing so how can we rename so just double click on top of it and then on window will be appeared okay and this is the transform thing actually so what is our goal we need to change our table name first so suppose here uh, it's table 2 we want to delete and we want to put uh, that in that information like Microsoft Corporation price okay so we can do like this Microsoft we can actually make it short short very short because this is the ticker of that thing uh, MSFT and then we can put historic price historic I'm typing just short price Okay, so it's now meaningful. So I just typed uh, this name, uh, Microsoft, then historic price. Okay, so now anybody or some days later, if you still open this thing, you can easily understand what is uh, this thing actually. Okay, now this part is done. Now uh, another thing we'll do. So here we have many columns, right? This, this, this column. But just a few moments before we discussed that we want only high price and low price and we don't need anything. So what we can do, we can delete this part, right? this part and this two part or other part so how can you delete so it's very simple just select the column and then there is remove columns just click there and it will be deleted okay and there is another shortcut you can also do just select this and right click and then remove you can also remove 
and if you want to remove two columns altogether just select both of the columns this column this column uh, you have to press uh, control key and then you have to select both of them and then after that you can click there and it will be removed okay now we have our desired column uh, date high and low these three things okay we need and then finally we have to close this thing how we can close if we try to close then it will not uh, it will not actually be loaded in this format so what we have to do we have to choose this drop down here there is a small uh, triangle right so just click there and it will give you option close and load and there is another way you can also save this thing and go to your sheet there is file right click on file and then it will open this top menu just click on close and load whatever option you like you can do two options are there but i prefer file and close and load this is more simple and it's easily visible so i'm going to do this i'm going to click it here and then very soon we will change the change it is loading see it is showing that it is loading once it is loaded successfully then this data will be updated okay now it's done so now we got all the data right so from here to some days data okay and there are some column like date high low if you still want to customize this thing you can also do from the transfer uh, option right so here now we are seeing that microsoft msft history price okay now it is very easy to understand what about this table okay and this table uh, here all the data is coming from this yahoo finance website so in this way you can easily import data from web to excel till now we easily imported data from web to excel now let's come to another point now every day we need to update this thing we need to refresh this data right how we can do so to update this data just uh, we have to right click and then we'll find a refresh option so just click refresh it will actually you will see that it is refreshing and it will update the data in this way you can also update and there is another way you can update just go to data and then you will find refresh all this thing and it will refresh everything so let's check suppose we want to delete uh, these two things for example i just deleted okay now we need to update so what we have to do we have to come data and then we have to click refresh all and what will it do it will actually refreshing see loading data and these are empty we deleted right see now these values came right appeared so in this way actually you can easily update those price that means the historic price easily so hopefully by watching this video you are able to easily import data from web to excel and also you can update based on your requirement whenever you need uh, i just gave you one simple example but uh, you can try this thing with some other stock also or some other website data also you can do and hopefully uh, you might find it very interesting and useful and i will thank you for watching the video and if you really like this video or if you really enjoy this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you still didn't and thank you for watching see you on next video